we get the scoop on antibody testing and how it fits into future public health orders. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, locals are rallying behind small business to the tune of $37,000 through the Summit Chamber's Love the Summit online auction. Chamber Executive Blair McGarry. That's just another really great example of our towns and our community coming together to support local business. The Chamber's goal is $100,000 by next Monday, and bidding is still open on hundreds of gift cards and items from dozens of local businesses. All proceeds go to the Summit County. County Cares Fund. Make your bid now at lovesummitco.com. Local testing for coronavirus has grown 132% in eight days, and coming next are antibody tests. But what can experts learn from them? Will Cook, CEO for Vail Health. How many people in the community have been exposed and now have an antibody? A 2% test rate for antibodies and illness is best for estimating scope of the outbreak, equal to 720 people in Summit. 5% or 1,800 people is even better. We didn't target populations. We just started offering it through Colorado Mountain Medical. Vail Health expects to finish roughly 2,000 antibody tests in Eagle County by tomorrow, and this first round of testing guides the next phase of health orders. Is that statistically significant to say, well, how many people actually have the antibodies. And let's just say it was 10%. If that's 10% of the county, then then how do we use that information in moving forward in this crawl, walk, run phase to continue to see does the number of people who have the antibodies go up as well? But the antibody tests are not perfect. The scientists are out there figuring out how they improve sensitivity and specificity and make sure these tests are accurate. Vail is testing for antibodies through its primary care group, Colorado Mountain Medical. Summit County's Hispanic population is hit disproportionately hard by COVID-19, likely the side effect of frontline jobs and no health insurance. In Summit, Hispanics represent 55% of virus cases, despite making up just 15% of the population. Statewide, Hispanics represent 36% of cases and 22% of population. Whites are half of all cases, 68% of state population. Breanne Snow, executive director for the FERC, says the people that are being affected the most are the people still out there working with the least amount of protection. In a local survey from November, more than half of Hispanic respondents did not have health insurance while a study from Pew Research using a poll from mid-March shows 47% are worried they cannot support their families if they miss work for coronavirus. That's 14 points higher than all Americans. Early summer is rabies season in Colorado's high country, and Summit is not immune. Local animal control supervisor Jesslyn Swerka. Animals are coming out of hibernation, and winter is over. The public's starting to be more out and about and hike and explore in the national forest. Bats are the most common carrier for rabies, like one found last summer in Breckenridge at Peak 7. They can fit into smaller places, and they can um, go into the attics of homes. They can fly in your front door if you have the door open for a while. Last year's rabid bat and Breck was the first in Summit since the mid-90s, and Swerka confirms no local domestic animals have tested positive for rabies in recent memory, but she still recommends a rabies shot. The disease is 99% lethal when untreated. Silverthorne's monthly First Friday Bash is coming to quarantine on social media and Crystal 93 Airwaves. Sydney Schwab with the town. We wanted to find a way for our residents to celebrate First Friday at home and still bring that live music component some artwork. Find a coloring page in tomorrow's Summit Daily and post your art to social media with the hashtag Silverthorns Got Heart. Then tune into Crystal from 4 to 7 p.m. for local music and the chance to win gift certificates from Baker's Brewery, Red Buffalo Coffee, and more. That's tomorrow for First Friday right here on Crystal 93. In sports, the Little League World Series, scheduled for late August, has been canceled for the first time in the Youth League's 75-year history. The cancellation includes 82 qualifying tournaments worldwide, citing troubles with testing and travel before the series in Pennsylvania. And in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports in Dillon, Colorado Parks and Wildlife has extended a statewide closure of campgrounds through May 4th. State and national parks remain open, while facilities like trailhead bathrooms are closed. And Summit Emergency Manager Brian Bovaird warns they could stay locked all summer and beyond. Looking at the whole concept of bathroom doors being locked uh, in the bathrooms at trailheads, and some level of social distancing protocols being in place for the next two years, and how does that affect how we recreate and how our visitors recreate. This comes as the state reminds residents to recreate within 10 miles of home by public health order. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.